I'm having like an existential crisis with like how I should rate books because I honestly don't know anymore. <laughs> what's up welcome to the start of a brand new rating vlog today is monday and i'm very tired <laughs> first off before i get started i just got my first book of the month box i've never used book of the month before but they had one of my most anticipated reads of the year as one of their books for their box so um i am unboxing it and i'm really excited for this book it's so cute okay we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I believe it's a romance between two writers. One of them I believe is like a thriller or a mystery writer and then the other one is a romance writer and they're both having like writer's block and they're both at beach houses next door to each other. They task each other to help them write each other's stories. So he'll be writing romance and she'll be writing mystery thriller I think. They're just writing different genres for each other. That sounds really 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 fun. I've never used book of the month before. This is so exciting. Um, I got this for only 10 bucks. This book, hardback cover, for only ten dollars. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. But I haven't picked a new book for the week physically. I did start Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare last night after I ended my last reading vlog and I think I'm around two hours of the way into that one. It's a historical romance and this woman is basically destitute but then I believe her godfather passes away. Her inheritance is this big mansion but little does she know like a duke lives in that mansion and he's like this is my house. I'm not leaving. Like this is my house and somehow she owns it though. It's very interesting. I want to know how that sorts itself out. But he's also blind, so that's also a very interesting aspect of the book. I've been meaning to read more, obviously, disability represented books. I'm really enjoying that audiobook. I was listening to that while putting together a clips for my last reading vlog yesterday. I have class in around 10 minutes, and so I need to get ready for that, uh, my US history class, and then I have some homework to do later today. Let's see how this day goes. <laughs> actually the next day. I'm sorry I didn't really update you yesterday or earlier than now. Um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I've mainly been doing schoolwork. Um, yesterday I did start my first physical book. We have A Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. This is a fantasy. I don't know if it's new adult or young adult, but basically what I'm gathering from it is that there are these like kind of like, I'd say like witches. Let's say witches. They're called bone criers and they're kind of like witches and they get their power from like killing creatures and then like harvesting their bones and then they get like their power and like um, the only way you can like come to your full power or become like a full on like mature bone crier I think is that you have to like kill three animals, harvest their powers and then you have to go and find your one true love and then kill them. Um, so all of the bone criers are women. So there's three perspectives. Elise and Sabine are both bone criers. Elise is like the daughter to like the matriarch of the bone criers. Elise is like hardcore and can't wait to go find her true love and kill him and harvest his bones. And then Sabine is way more timid and shy and doesn't want to kill anything. She's very foreign to the bone criers. And then the other point of view is Bastion, who I believe is going to be like Elise's love interest that she has to kill. And his father, ooh, what was that? The first chapter or like prologue part, his father being killed by a bone crier. So, and then like the prologue of the book is like his dad being killed by a bone crier. Will you stop? I got to page like 29. I really got sucked into that. I'm really enjoying that. I have three hours left of Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare. Hopefully I might finish it today while I'm working on another assignment. And I also started Born to be Bound by Addison Kane. I'm pretty sure I got this off of KU. It's like a, a wolf shifter romance. I haven't read one of those in a while. So I decided to get back into it. And this one was kind of high on the rating scale. I'm kind of enjoying that. I think I'm like 10% of the way through. So today I had to work on my Texas geography project where you go around 
your hometown. Uh oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Where you go around your hometown and you like take pictures and make a portfolio for it and then turn that in as a project to talk about your hometown. So I went around Houston, took pictures of Houston, and I need to make that into a portfolio online in the next couple days because it's due on Friday. And I also got a uh, new mask. I actually got like a, a real mask. <laughs> my mom found some to buy. Um, so all of the people in my family now have a mask. So that's a good thing. Hey y'all, it's 11.30 at night. The whole day today I've been working on a project. So that's what I've been doing and I have to do it again tomorrow. I did finish two books though. I did finish the Tessa Dare book, which title is Escaping Me at the moment and I'm very sorry. But I loved this book and I'm so upset that I don't remember the title of it right now. I don't know what rating I'm gonna give it. To be honest, the past couple of days my brain has been like school, school, school and like mush. <laughs> So I don't know what I would rate this book. I'm thinking maybe like a 4.5 out of 5 stars or maybe a 5. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you'll figure out when I wrap up the reading vlog, I guess. I have no idea. Last night I stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning to finish Born to be Broken or Born to be Bound by Addison Kane. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea what to think about this. This book is insane. If you want to read a dark book, this book is freaking dark like so dark as i said before this is like a wolf shifter book dealing with like alphas and omegas okay i had to change settings because my light just died anyway this book is nuts so this girl she's an omega to be able to like help her fellow omegas from starvation she goes to like the leader of the alphas whose name is shepherd she goes to like his facility or whatever to like ask him to help the Omegas, they're all starving, are all about to die. She like makes sure that she's like not going to go into like heat or whatever. Um, Cause like that can attract an alpha like that. And so she buys these like these suppressant pills that she takes to like mask her scent basically. And turns out like the drugs weren't like real. They were actually drugs that put you into heat. And so she goes into heat right in the middle of his, I don't want to say like throne room, but basically like a throne room. He's not a king. He smells her and then like kills like 10 other alphas in the room to get to her and like takes her, puts her in a cell and forces her to be his like pair mate, which like you could only pair mate once. And basically like sexually assaults her for like months. And it's horrible. <laughs> you get to see like her inner thoughts in this book and it's like insane it's insane whenever like your pair mate or whatever like purrs to you like your body reacts to that and like goes willingly to the person no matter if you want it or not and she definitely did not want anything of what he did to her and so like her body is betraying her because of what an omega is it was so freaking dark i have no idea what to rate this i just i had to know what was gonna happen i was kind of upset because at the end i realized that this is a trilogy about the same characters and the next two are each seven dollars and i'm not paying for books at the moment so like i'm not i can't continue i just downloaded a free sample of book two to see what happened in like the first couple chapters but like i don't know what to think of this book this book is so dark i was like what is going to happen here because like i was like so grossed out by this like man the synopsis of all these books is saying how like it's a love story and a romance between them both when like i'm i'm, I'm trying to read to figure out how when he's done these horrible things to her i don't even know if i liked this book or not <laughs> I don't think I did, but like, there's also some like political stuff I just did not care about. So like, I skimmed a bunch of this book. Okay, I know I didn't do it in my last reading vlog, but we're gonna do it in this one. <laughs> I forgot, I'm very sorry, but it's time for the shout out mug. Today's shout out is this one. Let's see who it is, it's a long one. Oh, it's Tamika from Flipping Through Pages. I love Tamika a lot. She's one of like the first booktubers I ever subscribed to that wasn't from America. And like, I thought that was so cool. <laughs> uh, I believe she's from Australia. I love her accent. Um, I also fell in love with her bookshelves. Her bookshelves are huge. I don't know if any other booktuber does it. I've never, I've never seen any other booktuber do this, but they would put their books in the bookshelves 
alphabetically. That's what Tamika would do. And I loved that. I loved seeing how her bookshelf just looked like an actual library. It was so cool. But she reads a lot of young adult books as well. So I love getting young adult recommendations from her. And I watch her videos religiously whenever she posts a video. I'm right there to look at it. I'm right there to watch it. I really love Tamika and just her energy and all the videos that she makes. I, she's just an amazing person. I feel like everyone should go check her out. happy Friday I did not vlog at all yesterday I did not post anything on Instagram yesterday I did not do anything yesterday I literally was doing classwork from 8 o'clock in the morning to 6 30 at night that's all I did yesterday and then when I was done all I wanted to do was go watch a Disney movie so that's what I did <laughs> school has been so draining so draining I bet y'all are sick of me complaining about school but like it's kind of it, it kind of sucks at the moment I've just been sitting out here for the past couple minutes reading some of Bonecrier's Moon we've had a chapter from all three of our main characters so far I'm on page 39 and I'm really enjoying this so far it like has a really cool setup and a really cool cast of characters I am very intrigued by this book um, and it's like I'm reading it very fast which is very different for a fantasy read for me so I don't know how much content you're gonna be getting in the like next couple of vlogs when school is still in session I feel bad I really wanted to participate in the reading rush that started today but I literally have no time and energy to I'm just so tired all the time I just want to say those of you who aren't in school at the moment y'all are freaking lucky like so many people are complaining I'm so bored when I'm quarantined I have nothing to do I hate quarantine or isolation because I have nothing to do y'all aren't in school and are doing schoolwork 24 7 like at least you're not doing that like you know what I mean like I feel like I'm having a horrible isolation quarantine experience because all I'm doing is reading and writing all day every day and in class all day every day on zoom so y'all who don't have school please just call yourselves lucky <laughs> just say that you're lucky like i don't even have time to watch a movie last night was the first time i've watched a movie in over a week or two so <laughs> anyway enough about me and my struggle bus life continue throwing the ball to my very hyper dog and read some more of this before my U.S. History Zoom class. This is what I deal with every single night. Hi, girly. We have Ollie. Oh, oh, she wants more pets. We have little Ollie over there. He's normally under the blanket next to me the whole entire night. Then this is Cat, Katniss, and. She's the one who just wants pets all the time. And there's Willow, obviously. Say hi, Willow. Like, you, you woke me up. I normally have these three in my bed at night, and then I have Oreo. One of the cats doesn't like Ollie, so she does not sleep in my bed. And then Oscar is my mom's cat, so he sleeps with my mom. Um, so I get four out of the six pets that aren't in, like, enclosures that are free range, because we have a bearded dragon but obviously he can't sleep with us. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, it's later in the day and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna try and finish this book tonight. This It's like 11.30 at the moment and I haven't stayed up this late to finish a book in forever. I was, what, at page like 30 something this morning? And y'all, I'm already on page 313. Who am I reading fantasy this fast? <laughs> One day I read the majority of this book and I'm probably gonna finish this book today. It's such an interesting premise and an interesting book. The characters are interesting. It's really cool. Like I'm just sucked into this world. I wouldn't think that like Sabine, who's like the one character in the book who's not a part of the couple, I wouldn't think that I would enjoy her chapters. Like, I thought like, oh, she's not a part of the couple. I'm gonna skim her chapters, which is not the case. <laughs> I love Sabine. And like, I didn't know there'd be like a plot twist element in here. And there's plot, a plot twist. I just read a plot twist, which I was not expecting. <laughs> I 
finished this book last night at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> wow, did this book suck me in. I was on page like 29 yesterday at like 11.30 in the morning and uh, finished it at two o'clock in the morning and it's 453 pages. So I flew through this book. I flew through it. I honestly don't know what I would rate it though because I'm having like an existential crisis with like how I should rate books because I honestly don't know anymore. <laughs> Anyone else feel like that? I do really recommend this book. I don't know what I would rate it. It'd either be a four or a five or a 4.5. I don't know. I feel like this is a fantasy world that everyone can understand or most people can understand. If you're new to fantasy, I feel like this would be a great book to start out with because the world is not hard to understand. The characters are not hard to understand. I really loved our three main characters. My favorite character is probably Sabine and she's not even a part of the couple here. Just her character growth in this book was amazing. I do really recommend this book. Like it was so stinking good and I flew through it. Me reading a fantasy book in one day, most, most of it in one day. Like I haven't read fantasy in so long. I feel like this got me back in the mood of fantasy because after Crescent City I would read like 100 pages a day and like wouldn't feel like I did anything like like I wouldn't leave a dent in the book at all. I would be reading this book and next thing I know I had already read 100 pages and it didn't feel like I read 100 pages. It sucked me in. I really enjoyed this as you can see. Uh, I really recommend it. I think I'm gonna pick up an audiobook while I do some cleaning and editing. I think I'm gonna start. I think it's called Blind Beast or something like that. I don't remember, but uh, it had the word blind and mate and beast. Three trigger words for me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pick that one up. It's on Kindle Unlimited and Audible Escape. But anyways, I'm gonna get to that. I have to do some homework, so I will chat with y'all later. Hello, it is later in the day. I'm currently watching um, Jess's vlog that came out today i am so tired um i filmed like three different videos and like clips for vlogs i've been editing like all day i'm really tired you can obviously tell from my voice but also like my anemia is i think getting to me because shark week came today <laughs> so my anemia has been really bad and so um i shake a lot um because I'm obviously iron deficient because that's what anemia is, duh. Uh, my hands have been shaking and my body has just been shaking. Me having anemia really like um, makes me, you may be seeing my hands right now, but like makes me um, shake. Um, so it was, I was I'm having a rough, rough day. <laughs> Anyone else who like has anemia, how does it like affect you with your period? My period is like way, 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 way worse than other people's because I have anemia. Like it freaking sucks. <laughs> I haven't been feeling my best today, but I did finish a book earlier today. I finished Blind Beast Mate by Milana Jax. So I finished that audiobook because it was only like two and a half hours long and I gave it three stars. It was so... <laughs> rushed because it was only two and a half hour audiobook the guy's narration was so bad like his dialogue was so bad like it was not good the dialogue for the guy was not good i did really love like the um visual impairment representation i want more books that have like visual impairment and disability rep obviously because i talk about it all the time so i loved seeing that in this book in like a fantasy s book so basically i don't think i like talked about though the summary is earth now is like inhabited by these beast aliens and they can like eat people essentially but i think they're like low on like females and like a beast guy can like buy a human woman from their like father or guardian this woman i don't remember her name um she gets bought by a beast obviously and they can like they have like flying motorbikes and she's blind and she's trying to like keep him from knowing that she's blind and so she's like hiding the fact that she's blind from him and it's like their romance it's just like it's really really short the dialogue was really cringy I did love the visual impairment representation. I'm going to clean my room, even though it's 11.30 at night, and watch more Reading Rush vlogs because that's what I've been loving recently because I can't participate because of school and everything. Oh wait, I started another book also. <laughs> I started, I believe it's called Say Yes to the Marquez by Tessa Dare. I finished the um, other audiobook by her for the first book in the series. This is the next book in like the castles 
is it called Castles Ever After, I think? The series? I think there's three books in the series. I love the cover for this one. All I know about this one is that it's about a girl who's been betrothed to this guy for like eight years and she's like had enough of it. She knows like he doesn't actually want to marry me if he hasn't married me in these past eight years. So she goes to his brother to like tell him that she's canceling the wedding and her bro his brother won't have it. I think the brother's actually gonna get with her. I'm really enjoying it. I'm about like an hour and a half in. Anyway, I'm actually gonna go clean my room now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> everyone happy sunday i started a new book that's what i was gonna say i started this book finally the romance book club by lisa k adams i finally started this romance book i'm on page 96 and if you didn't know this is a romance between gavin and what's her name what's her name Thea. they're having some marital issues she tells him that she wants a divorce but he's like in love with her and really wants to fight for their marriage a bunch of his baseball teammates and a bunch of other like um kind of like celebrities of the town that they live in have this bromance book club that they invite him to and like they read romance books to get advice from the books to use on their wives or girlfriends or fiancés i'm really enjoying it so far i think i'm just gonna read some more of this and i really want to finish say yes to the marquess by the end of the day <laughs> later in the day it's like nine o'clock at night i'm on page 222 of the bromance book club i'm really enjoying this i like seeing the man grovel and i also really love the twins ava and um, amelia because they really remind me of the kids that i used to nanny which hopefully i will get back to nannying over the summer i love them so much but in my case it's boy and girl twins and i love them a lot and like these two characters around me a lot of them and remind me how much I miss them. I've been in my feels <laughs> um, for a little bit because I've been getting some really lovely comments on some of my videos and like just like some great like conversations with some friends online. I've just I've been loving the support from people in this community <laughs> and I was like sitting here in my feels like I wish that I could see these people and like hug them and talk to them more. Just know that I love all of you and I'm very grateful to have all of you. Hello everyone, it is the end of the night. It is the end of this reading vlog and I have finished The Romance Book Club by Alyssa K. Adams. I really, really enjoyed this. Oh, there's a cat hair. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it, but I don't think it's like my favorite romance that I've ever read, you know what I mean? It just doesn't get that favorite book feeling from me. It was really cute, it was really sweet, I love their daughters, and um, I loved the Regency aspect of the book because part of the book has the um, Regency book that the main character man is reading. Overall, it's just a very enjoyable romance read. I had a lot of fun reading this, obviously. So in total, I read five books this week, and I'm almost done with sixth I have like two hours left of Say Yes to the Marquess by Tessa Dare. Really enjoying that one. Um, I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow. So stay tuned for next week's reading vlog to see what I think of that. I finished Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare, which is the first book in the Castles Ever After series. I really enjoyed that one as well. It was really cute and sweet. Next I read Born to be Bound by Addison Kane. <laughs> I decided not to read this book because I didn't know what to read it. I, did, I, don't, I don't know what to read this book, so I didn't read it. <laughs> I don't think I recommend it to other people. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to continue on with the series. Then I listened to Blind Beast Mate by Milana Jax. I gave this 3 out of 5 stars, maybe more of a 2.5. Just a short audiobook that was okay. <laughs> Lastly, I read Bonecrier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. I loved this. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I've been like bouncing backwards to 4.5 or 5 stars. I don't know, my thoughts may change if I ever reread this book when the sequel comes out because it's a duology and I think this is a great fantasy YA book. Like I totally recommend this one if you're wanting to read something in the fantasy YA genre. There you go, those are all of the books that I read 
this week. I don't know what books I'm gonna be able to read next week because <laughs> school again it's getting close to finals so and this is the last week of school for three of my classes so I have some projects to do. Anyways this vlog is probably way longer than it should be. Thank you all so so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.